Are we are we live? We are live. We're ready to go. Going We're ready back. to go. Here we go. You're ready. I like the watch too. Thank, Thank you. you. Going on. Well, you know, uh, my wife dressed me. I still send pictures to my sister every time I go out. And she, and she approves the look? She has to approve before I go out. That's, I think that's important. You need you need someone. I can't dress myself. I, I, I feel like I know how to dress. And then I always have to be like, I have to call a friend or ask my wife. You doubt yourself. Yeah, yeah. I don't have it yet. But thankfully, um, I had someone helping me tonight. It looks good. Thanks, it looks buddy. good. So first tell us, how did you initially get involved with this organization? Uh, seven years ago, this is our seventh annual Night of Generosity, and uh, we started back in 2009 at Lululemon, really small store here in Beverly Hills. We were auctioning uh, our friends off for dinners just to have people give money so we can build wells, and we've been doing it for you know seven years strong now. It's been incredible to see the faces of people um, and how their lives are changed after we build these wells in Africa and Haiti is, it's mind blowing. It's, it's something I'm always gonna stay a part of. Do you have wells yourself in these yeah, countries? Yeah. So each year um, I'll buy a well and um, we encourage people to do that even if you can't afford a well. I've you know I've teamed up with friends and we've chipped in on wells or for your birthday, just you know get as many people as possible to instead of a gift, give money towards generosity.org and build wells. But yeah, I've got wells in Africa and Haiti and around the world and it's cool because they send you the GPS coordinates, they send you pictures and video and you can see the people in the villages and uh, you see where your money's going, so it's legit. That's incredible. That I'm sure I, I think I talked to you about this last time. You have pictures on your Instagram, thanks Jason for the water. Oh, I'm yeah. sure it's an incredible feeling that most people aren't gonna get necessarily. That was the first year and I remember um, when Jordan sent me that photo, I was I was blown away because you actually get to see where it's going and you see the faces of these kids in the villages and you're like, holy cow, I just made their life for the next 20 years. That's how long these wells last. And uh, I framed that photo and put it up my house. And when we moved, I put it up uh, again because I always want to remember that moment. I'll never forget those faces. That's awesome. And then what, what do you want people to take away from this charity? I think they need to know that it's it's helping people, and every single dime is going to you know building clean water. We want to we want to fund 70 wells. We want tonight our goal is water for 40,000 people, uh, and it's it's easy. I mean, you take it for granted every time you go to a restaurant, you get water. You walk over to a water fountain, and you get water. But it's really difficult around the world for people. They have to walk miles upon miles. They put gasoline. Kind of in California too. Yeah, actually. yeah, that's true. <laughs> but the, yeah, they they put gasoline canisters, you know, on their backs and pregnant moms and they fill their water in like the grossest areas with sickness and disease in there and um, just we take it for granted here there's a lot of people still you know the numbers are, are dwindling thankfully for from charities like us but there's still over 600 million people in the world that don't have access to clean water and we are trying to change that year after year and Jordan and, and everybody here as father they're doing it so I'm just happy to be a part of it man That's awesome. congratulations it was Thanks, good bro. to see you good to see you man